Uh, and so one of the other folks that uh, Sheila Johnson talked about hiring here is a uh, chef, Andre David Halston. He is the man here keeping all of this stuff straight. Uh, since we got here, he sent me all these treats. And I said, look, man, I'm trying to lose weight. You can't be sending all these desserts. Uh, and so what we wanted to do was we wanted to uh, obviously deal with something that I have never been a fan of. Uh, the first lady, she swears asparagus is really healthy and good for you. In fact, uh, I'm going to play for you right now a little snippet of the interview we did for our Let's Move initiative. And here's her telling me why it's important to eat vegetables. You, you told me asparagus can be made to taste good. Yeah. I'm still waiting to see that happen. Well, we can go over and pull some stuff. Uh, we, okay. Which, <laughs> we, uh, but I'm trying to tell you, I'm still trying to figure out how that happens. <laughs> well, it, the, the key is finding the vegetable that you enjoy. Okay. All Not right. everybody likes it. So berries. if I don't like broccoli and peas. You just um, find your thing. Okay. Find your right. thing. Find, find your vegetable. Okay, I would try two. to. Let's okay, so two. everybody at home, find your vegetable. Find your two. That's the admonition from That's the right. first lady. You don't have to like them all. <laughs> just find something. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right, Chef Andre. So the first lady, she swears by that asparagus can actually be tasty. So I'm giving you the task to actually make asparagus tasty because I hated my dad making us eat it growing up. Well, it just all depends on how it's prepared. Okay. So the way that it's prepared today, this is something very, very unique that you cannot find. And that's the unique things about uh, Sheila Johnson and her vision here at the resort. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to green, green is good, my friend. Don't right. be afraid. No, no, no. I, I yeah. know how to make money. So, yes, green is good. No, no, no. This is green going inside. <laughs> ah, got you. Inside okay. here, got you. not in here, okay. in the All wallet. Right. All right, just check it. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. All and right. and this, is, uh, this is a great thing. So we have over here a blend of uh, Asiago, Romano, and Parmesan cheese. And so you can see how it's, how it's shaved that we just put it through the peeler mm -hmm. and we shave this. So what I want to do, nonstick pan, this is easy to do at home. Gotcha. And it's very, very quick. So we're just going to put just a now small... what if you don't like cheese? If you don't like cheese... Like I don't like cheese. Well, you will like cheese when we're finished this. Okay, because, all right, okay, Because right. there's a sauce that's going to go with it. <laughs> all right, cool. So if you just look in this pan here and we're going to take this, we're going to spread this out a little bit and, right. it, and it's going to start melting real quick. So I'm going to follow you on this side here as all well. Right. So once it all starts right. getting golden nutty brown right. on the outside, this has probably got about another 30 seconds. You can see inside the cheese, fat is flavor right. in this case. Okay. That's not a bad thing with this cheese being uh, organic cheese. All right. So you just want to push it in on the outside to get that slightly rounded. You ready to move on this? All right, my let's friend? go. I, I was told that you can cook, okay? Yeah, I'm cook. Done. All right, uh, asparagus, in and roll it. All right, I'm gonna roll it. Absolutely, there you go. See, and it is hot, so nice and tight. Some of y'all, I'm not familiar rolling stuff. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about, so just letting you know. Keep going. A little more. There you go. All right. Yeah, man. All right. Hot. So there you go. You have okay. to roll it quick, otherwise the cheese yeah, will tighten yeah, up. Yeah, okay. And it will not work. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to do... Roll it quick, but burn a brother. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm trying to focus here. <laughs> He's right. got no fingerprints on his fingers. They all burned they're, off. And they're all tough, too, <laughs> for some reason. Okay, so we have olive oil mayonnaise. That can go Olive right in. Olive oil mayonnaise? Yep. Oh, cool. All right, and you're going to need that, that whisk there. All right, here. All right. Okay, so you're going to get that moving ever so slightly. Okay. Start whisking it. Start whisking that. All and right. And I'm going to add a little bit of mascarpone cheese. All right. Okay. Next thing I'm going to add, this is the flavor builder. Because now, you know some black folks watching, they say they don't eat mayonnaise, so. They do eat mayonnaise. Who? who? Everyone not, eats mayonnaise. Not everybody. You know a bunch of brothers don't eat mayonnaise. <laughs> All right, right. So what are you putting in now? Uh, Dijon mustard. Okay, Dijon mustard. Okay. What's, what's wrong with regular French mustard that you, know, you grew up with? Uh, see how special you get? This is a vision. This see? is a vision about see? flavor. See, you become a cook in the Ritz car, he's like using <laughs> Dijon mustard. No, he didn't grow up eating Dijon mustard. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> all right, so I have um, gherkin pickles. All so right. just think of all of these things. Because gherkin pickles. Gherkin pickles. All, all right, all not nice relish, stuff. gherkin pickles. Right, and so I got capers. Capers, okay. all right. These things you can find at a basic grocery store, and it's not going to cost you a lot of money to put this together. Okay. So right. then I've got some shallots. Shallots. Boiled egg. Boiled okay. egg. Everyone right, can cool. boil an egg. Yeah, right. You right. can't boil an egg. You just right. need to just do takeout. <laughs> all right. So keep that moving. <laughs> all right. So to this is the flavor builder when we're talking red chili tartar. This okay. is Malaysian red chili sauce. This goes in. And this is what's going to bring this thing to life. All You're right. in this work. You've got to have life. You've got to have life. You've got to have, have life. life. And we have a little bit of uh, chopped cilantro in there. All right, throw a little, throw a little flavor in there. 
This is all about the flavor. This is why guests come to Innisbrook from all around the world. Mm -hmm. Because they know we can cook. Okay. We cook on the golf course. We cook here. So okay. I'm used to this whisk. My mom been baking cakes for 40 years, so I was a kid having to do this all day, mixing up our stuff. Look at, look at the big guns on hey, you. Hey, man, yeah. trust me. I've been doing this for a long time. All right, what we got now? All right, this is what we got. My friend who is not a big fan of asparagus. No, I'm not. Here's what we're going to do. I'm not a, a, let me help you out. I'm not a fan of asparagus, cheese, or mayonnaise. This is a threefer. Until you met me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, there you go. All right. All right, spoon. Spoon. The red chili tartar right across that. This is a great hors d'oeuvre to do at home. Okay, I told you, this is something you're not going to find every ready? Day, in an everyday restaurant. Okay? You ready? Done. All Cheers. Right. Cheers. Done. He hitting food. Mm -hmm. Doesn't taste like asparagus, does it? Mm. Not bad. This is how we work here at Innisbrook. You use a mustard. Not bad. No, no, please. <laughs> <laughs> You can find, I can't talk, tell me you can find recipe at tv1.tv. You can find this recipe and so much more at tv1.tv.